Hello, good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good morning. Hope everyone is doing well this morning. And today I want to jump right into our activity that we started yesterday. And I shared also the Notion screen in the chat, if you want to open that up, if that helps. The first thing I want to look at is to take a quick review over what you guys accomplished since last class. So in Microsoft Teams, remember that the questions that were constructing that we are writing out in our shared Word document, uh, we want to make sure that we do two things. Each question should be reflexive, so it should ask for an opinion, not ask for specific behaviors, right? So for example, if you're asking questions like, what strategies do you use? That's not a reflexive question. That's just a, a behavioral type of question. It's like, what do you do, right? We want instead, we want to, and there's nothing wrong with including certain behaviors in a question, but it also should include what the other person thinks, what opinions the person's going to have about, for example, the strategies that you're asking. So it's okay to ask about strategies, but ask about how do you feel about using certain strategies, right? Or how do you feel about choosing the types of strategies, right? Or what do you think about using certain strategies in your English class, right? That's, that's the idea. Also, the second thing we have to do for each, within each question is to include some mention of technology, of ICTs, right? So, so make sure that whenever you're including, you're writing out your, your questions and you're checking your questions today, make sure that you're including those two things in each question, right? So we want to try to ask specific questions questions about maybe technologies or strategies that maybe relate to each of the classes, right? Instead of maybe a general question that would apply to all five classes, maybe specific questions, um, probably because each class might be using some technologies different than, than other classes. There might be some common uh, commonalities, right? Maybe um, the way that you... You know, maybe we're all using, for example, uh, Microsoft Teams, all right? But you could ask specific questions about behaviors, like how we use um, this platform, right? Maybe we use it slightly different in our class than, you know, another class, right? So I went through each of the questions in Microsoft Teams, and I'm not going to go through them here uh, in class with, with everyone, but uh, double check. I'd like for you to go back, make sure that you have a heading for each section, all right? And I would use this, this style uh, option. Where is it? Well, let's see. Yeah, I'm editing. I don't see it here. Oh, there it is. I missed it. Let me go back. Yeah, I would use like the heading feature under font styles which is this icon right here, styles. And, you know, choose <clears throat> whatever heading you want, heading one or heading two, for each of the classes, right? I would create a heading for each class, and then under each heading, I would include a list of the questions. Now, some of you are further along than others, um, but I think we all could spend a little bit more time today to, number one, check grammar, and number two, make sure that each question has both some form of reflection and also some mention of technology. Right. For the most part, the questions should be open. I did say yesterday you could have some closed questions as long as you follow it up with a why, with an explanation, right? 
Um, so it's okay to have some closed questions if you're also asking, for example, why? And I think why asking a, a, a question about why to, to explain an answer, I think is, is a good thing to do, right? So, um, so double check each of the questions. And I think there's some opportunities to merge some questions into maybe a, a one question, depending on, you know, what you have here. So are there any questions about this idea of the types of questions that we're, that we're asking? No, did you? Any questions, guys? And some of your, I I did notice a couple of questions that, how do I say this? So you want to have, don't ask questions that you already know the answers. For for example, I think I saw a question, something like, uh, what platforms do you use in, in a particular class? So you probably already know the the types of platforms that you're using, but ask try to ask questions that you don't know the answers to, or at least ask questions that you, you're you not completely sure about, um, you know, what the answer is going to be. And so instead of maybe asking what platforms do you use, if you know you use Aula Virtual, like the virtual classroom, you could say, how do you feel about using the virtual classroom? Now, I also need to add a behavior. How do you feel about using the virtual classroom to answer form questions or to uh, to complete writing assignments, right? So notice I'm combining the behaviors, the writing assignments or answering the forums, and I'm asking how the person feels, and I'm also mentioning the technology, right? So a behavior, technology, and a reflection, like how do you feel? How do you, th you know, what do you think about doing this? Right? Is it is it difficult for you? Do you find it easy? Explain. Explain why do you feel that it's easy or, or difficult for you? And how does it, you know? And, and so you're trying to really merge those aspects in each of, uh, of the questions. So what I'd like to do is give you some additional time here. I think maybe one... One more hour, I think, because uh, many of you have a really good start. Some of you are further along. Some teams are further along than others. But I think in all cases, I think we could benefit by going online, talking with our teammates, looking and evaluating each of the questions that we have, maybe add a few more if we're still missing a few questions, and try to come up with, I would say, three to four questions for each class, for each section of your a document and again double check ask each other questions about grammar make sure that it's grammatically struck the structure is correct grammatically speaking and um, and uh, let's go ahead and work on that until let's see it's 809 right now let's jump in and let's continue working on these questions we'll come back at 905 we'll come back at 905 um, so that we can do the next part of our task for these questions. We're going to do something with these questions. And so I want to give you another hour to complete these questions. And again, I'll be online. I'll mute my mic right now. But if you have questions, jump in with your questions or send me messages via the chat. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic, guys. We'll come back at 9.05. Okay, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Uh, teacher, can you uh, go to our team seven to check our questions? All right, uh, let me let me see here. Yes, team seven. Yeah, seven. Okay. All right, uh, let's see. 
All right, so I like the first question. How do you feel about Flipgrid activities? Because you're including uh, the technology, Flipgrid, and how you feel about it. Uh, I You could be more specific if you wanted to list a, uh, a specific behavior, right? Like something about speaking or, or, or listening, although it, it's implied, but you could be more specific, but, but it's a good question. The second question, why do you think that recording a performance task is good for your learning? Um, this is a good question. If, if you want to include how, like, let's say, um, you know, maybe you ask a question about recording in Microsoft Teams, or you even might ask how would they prefer to record their performance task? How do they feel about um, so you could combine it with the type or the way in which they record, uh, but that's, but that's, that's, uh, that's fine. Why do you think, go ahead. I thought you were going to go to our team. So I changed, oh, Cal, sorry. I went away. Uh, so, do you want me to go into your team meeting? Yeah, teacher. So uh, okay. Everyone. All right, because it's almost nine oh five. So why don't you ask your teammates to come to this cl to this session? Okay, I will. Please. Okay. Okay, guys, it's almost nine oh five. We'll wait a few more, maybe one or two more minutes here. Okay, so. Again, uh, make sure that each question for Team 7, make sure that each question relates to technology. Our focus this week is technology, so we want to combine our reflection, right, and the use of technology. So in this question about the TOEFL, maybe you include some mention of the way technology is used to practice the TOEFL, right, for example. Uh, what online activities do you do in the class? So here, this is kind of a closed question. And again, I have no problem with, with closed questions if it's reflexive, if you're actually reflecting on the idea. So instead of asking maybe a question about online activities, maybe you ask a question about a certain way in which you or your student, your classmates interact with these online activities. Which technologies do they use? What do they do? Do they practice reading strategies, for example? Um, right? So again, the idea is that each question combines three things, behavior, the, techno the technology that you're using, and this idea of reflection. Notice that this question, what online activities do you do in class, is not a reflective question. You're not asking them to uh, what they think about it. You're just asking what, the, what do they do. So how do you feel about doing re readings online? Okay, and if you can be more specific about online, like a specific website, a place, or a way that you interact with readings online, that would also be uh, helpful. And so that's the idea. I think these are good questions. Um, I would just double check each one to make sure that you have those three aspects. And I've included those three aspects in the chat. Again, to review, we want to include a reflective question, a question that is asking for an opinion or how do they think about it? How do they feel about it? We want to also, in the same question, mention some sort of behavior. So it's probably going to relate to a certain skill, listening, speaking, reading, writing, grammar, right? Or even culture. Like what do you, what kind of behaviors do you do? And also it should mention some use of technology, right? How is a certain platform used, a website, uh, and so on. Okay, so try to include those three in your questions. What I'd like to do now, guys, is to consolidate our lists. I'm going to share my screen here. 
and you should be able to see my Microsoft Teams site. And if you guys go into week 14, what I'd like for us to do now is to consolidate, bring all of our questions together into each of our, our sections. Now here we're going to work together as a whole group to combine and consolidate. So if you have very similar questions, we can consolidate those. We can uh, make any final changes. But now we want to consolidate all of our questions. So let's bring in our questions. And maybe we start with, I'll tell you what, let's just go ahead and insert. We're going to have a lot of questions here, but we can go back and consolidate these as we need to. So go ahead and list your questions as bullet points, right? So I would just use this feature up here, the bullet point, and copy and paste your questions to this one list and keep them under each of the five sections, one for reading, writing, listening, speaking, grammar, and culture. Okay, so I'll give you a few minutes now to bring those in, and we'll be online here. I'm going to continue looking and talking with you, um, and we can discuss which questions need to merge into and combine into the same question, and which questions are completely different. All right, so go ahead and bring in your questions to this consolidated list. This is You can find this in week 14, the folder week 14. Teacher. Yes. So everyone is going to, pull, uh, to write our own questions in that, in that document? Everyone in the class? Yeah, each team, yes. You can bring in your questions, just like here. We've got our list uh, here. Now, when you guys bring in your questions, uh, look and see the questions that have already been uploaded. And yeah. if your question has already been uploaded, or if it's very, very similar, then you don't have to bring it over. But if it's different, if it's a different question, then then you can bring it in. And if you're not sure if you want to merge it, uh, bring it in and we can talk about how we can combine if we if we think we need to combine certain sentences. Okay. Okay, so Okay. okay. Yes. And teacher. Yes. I don't know, um, but yesterday I was trying to to upload my podcast the the last week and this week. And uh, for example, me meto a, a la página, uh, um, OneDrive, uh -huh. and I try to get in. I put my correo and my, my password. Eh, y ya al momento de, de meterme, no me da la opción de cargar mi podcast, o sea, de ponerle como un cargar. Solamente me salen los podcasts, pero no, no me da opciones de cargar. If you want, I can send you a screenshot. All right, let's, um, all right, so two things. First, Tanya, take a look at how Alexia has named her. So go go back and name all of your podcasts from the very beginning, right? Notice we have week two, week three, week five, because we didn't have a podcast for week four. And then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to 13. But notice WK0203 and then WK10, oh. right, underscore... Then a short description of the title, and then underscore, and then the number, number one, number two, number three. These are the number of the episodes, okay? So that's that's the first thing. So double check that. Um, the Make sure the OneDrive that you're in your university account, not your personal account. Okay, so I would double check that. You can check on the top right hand corner of your screen. Make sure it says it has your university email. A L to ID arroba edu punto ua punto MX. Yes. Okay, so make sure that that's there. And then usually, like we've done before, you can just click and drag from your you know from your uh, from your folder, like your explorer, right? And and just move it click and drag into the 
space and it will upload. Yes. But um, so, if you continue to have problems, just make sure first that you're signed in with the university account. And then if you still have problems, let's look at it outside of class. And then you can share your screen and I can look at exactly what's what's going on. What's going on? Yeah. Yes, okay. Oh, teacher. Yeah. And is there a problem if, in my last podcast, I invited to my sister to like do a, some kind of interview? It's okay or not? Like, uh, that's okay as, as long as you're you're speaking you know uh, throughout pretty much throughout I mean if it's more your uh, sister speaking then it might need to be a little bit longer just because the idea is that you're speaking at least you know four to five minutes in total so just just watch the time just so that you know maybe you're summarizing what she says or you know what I mean so it's not just you asking a few questions and your your te your uh, sister speaking the whole time okay okay that, so that's I fine have to text her, yeah? i'm sorry i said um i have to tag more than her well, not necessarily more than her but i'm just i'm um i would like for you to speak in total around four to five minutes so oh, okay. you just figure out you know see how much you're speaking and try to get close to speaking around four to five minutes in total, whether it's at the end where you're summarizing or, you know, you're having a conversation. And, and maybe it's more of a conversation where you're also voicing your opinion, talking about what, it, what you're asking your sister about, just so that it's not just your sister speaking the whole time. Okay. All right? I get it. Okay. So I would try to get into my account and I tell you. Okay. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, for example, some of my podcasts are not, well, some of my episodes are not like five minutes or four. Uh, some are like six or seven. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. If it's a little bit longer, um, that's fine. I, I use uh, four to five minutes as as kind of a minimum right but if you want to speak longer by all means go for it okay okay all right all right let's see how we're doing guys um let's also keep uh, the same font let's say calibre body 11 no bold so we're consistent so calibre body font size 11 and let's remove the bold and double check the questions, merge the questions. If we think we need to merge the question, make sure the first letter of the sentence is capitalized. Did we lose our culture? No, that's all grammar. Looks like we got a lot of grammar questions. So double check your question with the rest. All right, so double check each question. If your question doesn't have the following three things, then go ahead and remove the question. Okay, the question, what, what are the three things that a question must have? It has to be an open question, teacher, a specific. Uh, okay, it should be, for the most part, an open question. Now, I did mention that you could have a closed question if you say, for example, do you like when you use Microsoft Teams to have online classes? Explain, and then, then, you, have, then you say, explain why, right? Or why not? So those types of questions are okay. Um, otherwise, yeah, I would suggest that they're open questions, right? And so you're usually going to ask, like, how do you feel about it? What do you think about this? Right? Most of the, all the, almost all the questions are going to be something like that. You could say, what do you think 
the hardest, let's see, I'm looking here at the bottom here. What do you think is the hardest thing about using, now using which technologies? Using certain technologies to do, to do what? Right, so maybe be a little bit more specific in that last question, that last cultural question. Uh, this question here, what strategies or resources does he use? All right, try to reword this one. We need to, we need to include the three aspects. So I'll put a note here. Try to include. Now, if, if you think that it's not relevant, you can remove the question or you can modify it. So try to include a behavior. ICT and uh, and a I'm gonna put and a reflection. And what I mean by that, what what I mean by that is, it should be something like, well, what do you think about something? Like, you're not gonna ask. We're not going to ask questions like, well, what strategies do does he use? Which strat which platforms do you use? No. We need to ask a question about how you feel about it because this is a, a reflection about the use of technology. That's all we're going to be concerned about for all of these questions, right? They're going to be reflections about how we feel about using certain technologies to do certain things. To do certain things. That's the behavior. So those are the three aspects that need to come together in each and every question that we're posing. Go ahead, guys, and clean up uh, your, your text. Let's use Calibri body, font size 11. Please remove the bold, and we probably can be consistent with the bullets just to make it look a little, a little nicer. Um, Let's see, we don't have any writing? Not yet? How do you feel about practicing the reading techniques through websites? A little bit tired. Sorry? I didn't quite catch that, Nathan. What? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Ah, it's a little bit tiring. Uh, it's not. Uh, um, it's uh, well. It's not as common as, uh, or it is not as comfortable as uh, reading a book or something like this. Okay. I are you asking a question about? About one of your questions, or oh, it, it's not uh, as well. I oh, I, I thought you were asking like um, something like this about this. Ah, no, I'm kind like, of reading it out loud. I'm kind of reviewing and giving you guys some feedback <clears throat> about about what I think about the questions. So it's I'm not really asking for for an answer. Um, just okay. your feedback about. If the question is com is complete and if it includes a behavior, a reflection, and an ICT. Okay, so uh, let's see. What are your ex what has been your experience creating online projects? All right. So look at number the second question. What has been your experience creating an online project? Okay. Remember, we need to be reflective, reflexive. Okay, so it's not, you could say, what has been your experience? Maybe how do you feel? What, what has been your experience might be more about what you did, like what you, what you did. But instead of what you did, maybe you can ask more specifically because you know what you, what you did. So you could ask a question specific about the online project and include the ICT that was involved include the behavior that was involved, and then ask it in a reflexive way. How do you th feel about that? How did you feel about when you did this to practice this? What changes would you like to do? What changes would you like to do in online activities? All right, and if you could also mention the behaviors, like to do what though? 
uh, online activities for for what purpose, right? And maybe it's a specific type of reading strategy. Maybe it's a specific type of activity, even though it's online. But what online? With websites, a particular website, or a particular way of accessing a website? So as I'm giving you guys feedback, take a look at all of your questions and see how these questions. Teacher. Yes. Where can I, where uh, do I find the document? We, under week 14. Okay. Under files in Microsoft Teams. In the general tab? Uh-huh, in the general tab, yes. Uh, y le pongo week 14, okay. Mm-hmm. Let's see, how do you feel listening to long audios for final project? How do you feel? Okay. How do you feel about using different technologies to complete an exercise? Try to be more specific. Um, if you're talking about different technologies, maybe choose one. Which technology are you referring to? To complete an exercise for, for what kind of exercise or or for what purpose or what kind of strategy or skill are you considering? And remember that our skills are not only our language skills, right? You know, we're we're asking you guys to also think critically, maybe to make decisions, perhaps. Right, um, and so think about critical thinking, logical thinking in some of your classes, how you're practicing that as well as practicing the language. Maybe it has something to do with working in teams, working in pairs, working in a whole group, working individually. You could also talk about different interactional patterns. How do you want, uh, how do you feel about working in pairs, working and a shared Word online document to practice the writing skill, for example. Okay, so you can take another look, guys, at your sentences. What do you think about using an online dictionary? All right. To, to do what? To look up voc vocabulary words, to, to help with the reading text, Maybe provide a little bit more context in your question there. And, and so what do you think about the Microsoft Teams platform, but for what behavior? What kind of behavior are you referring to? Online classes, uh, working on a shared online document, uh, sharing posts either in class or outside of class. I mean, there are all kinds of different ways that you, we could possibly use Microsoft Teams. So maybe you can indicate which specific behavior you're, you want to include. Notice how I'm really trying to be specific in not only the technology, but the behavior in each of your questions. In each question that we ask, we want to try to include those. Is it difficult for you to work, uh, working and speaking in English with your classmates in a daily meetings? Why? Okay. How does, all right, that's a good question. How does technology make it easier for you to learn in this class? How does, all right, now, if that's fine, it's a little bit general, but it's, um, you could also ask specifically about the technologies that we use, but that's that's all right. What is your opinion about the platform that that you use to work in this class? But which platform? Right? You could you could call Microsoft Teams a platform. You could call Notion a platform. You could call Flipgrid a platform. And so maybe you could be specific there. How do you feel about using Flipgrid activities? All right, but for what purpose? For what? And I know speaking, but maybe you're even more specific about the types of Flipgrid activities that we do. Okay, why do you think that recording a performance test is, okay, good for your learning, all right, it's good. Do you, What do you think about uploading an audio speaking, uh-huh, all right. 
And you could call those your podcasts if you want. Going down to the grammar section. Again, jump in, guys, if you want me to look at a specific question, if you're not sure about how to make it more specific. That's really what we're focusing on now and seeing if we can combine any sentences. But jump in and just interrupt me if you have questions. How do you feel about using online books, but for, for, for doing what? Right? Again, we need a behavior in each of the questions. We need to mention a specific ICT, a technology, in each of the questions. What has been your experience doing online quizzes? Again, this is not a reflection, reflective question. This is just about your experience. But how do you feel about doing online classes to, or online quizzes, sorry. How do you feel about completing online quizzes each week or, or, you know, maybe even indicate a time. Um, I would try to be a little bit more specific there. Would you like to apply, would you like to apply another teaching method? All right, so this question here, maybe reword it. I like the question, but we need to reword it a little bit. Would you because it's just a yes or no question. So you really want to know how they feel about either the current teaching method or if you're going to propose or ask about another teaching method, like what method are you referring to? I would try to be more specific instead of saying a teaching method. Indicate the behavior that you think is part of that method, right? Just to make it more specific. I would try to... Be more specific on this one because it's a good question, but try to be more specific. Would you like the classes to be more dynamic? Again, we want to try to avoid these yes or no questions. So think about a how, how or why question. And it's pretty much related, it might be related to the prior question. So maybe we can merge those into one question. So whoever's working on that, I would th consider that. How does, how does technical, how do technical difficulties affect us? Again, maybe start this sentence. How do you feel? How do you feel? And maybe finish this question with this prompt. Do you think you could use an extra platform to practice or just acquire more knowledge? Do you think you're going to... Again, this is a yes or no question, guys. So think of a, an open question. How do you feel? How would you feel? This could be a hypothetical. You could say, how would you feel if... If, if it's something that is a hypothetical, something that's not currently being done, but could be. What do you think about, what do you, th what do you think would have changed at this class if the modality were not online? Well, that's an interesting question. That's an interesting question. I like that one. How do you feel how do you feel using technology and grammar? Okay, so maybe be a little bit more specific. Be more specific in terms of the technology. Be more specific. And try to be more specific in terms of the activity. See, I lost it. Where is it? In the grammar class. So when you say in grammar class, but like when you do what? Think of all the different types of activities that you do and try to be more specific. What specific type of activity or task are you referring to in grammar class that relates to a certain type of technology? And then you can ask, how do you feel about that? Uh, here, remember, we don't want to ask which strategies, right? This is not, this is all based on behavior, but think of a question. Uh, change to a reflective question right change to a reflective question how do you feel about using a certain strategy in grammar class before the quiz 
right? And, and, you know, if it's not clear about what strategy you're referring to, then just say what, what that strategy is. How do you feel when the teacher, I don't know, reviews the grammar points before the quiz, right? So I'm not, I'm not using the word strategy, but maybe what I'm expressing is a strategy, if that makes sense. How do you feel when we see a new topic that we've never seen before? Here I would recommend, uh, this is a good question, if you can include or mention some pedagogical or teaching, I'll just put teaching, teaching behavior or act, right? So, you know, how, how are new topics presented? And then you can ask, how do you feel about the way in which these new topics are being presented? But, but mention it in the question. Say how the new topic is presented, right? For example, if, if let's say a new topic, the teacher says, okay, I'm not going to talk about the new topic. I want you to first to uh, check online or in YouTube before we meet. And then we'll talk about the new topic. All right, just as an example. You could say, how do you feel when the teacher asks us to review the new topic first in YouTube before the class? How do you feel about that? Right. So that would be an example of trying to be a little bit more specific. How was your experience using online books in grammar class? How was your experience? How do you feel when using online? All right, so maybe how do you feel about using an online book to, and then instead of in grammar class, what specific behavior in grammar class would you like to refer to when you're, when you're looking at online books, right? Is it to study? Is it to complete an activity in class? Is it to complete an activity outside of class, et cetera? How do you feel about doing grammar quizzes, quizzes online? Mm, all right. Which certain strategies? Like, here's the thing with this. The, I'm hesitant about this question because I'm trying to think of an alternative. I mean, the only way it could be is 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 online. I mean, if if it's face to face, I mean, maybe there's a specific way in which the grammar quizzes are being presented that you could ask about. Um, because. We don't want, I would focus on changes that relate to online only. If we're going to compare everything to face-to-face, -face, I, I wouldn't do that because, I mean, we would rather be face-to-face, -face, but we're, we're not. And this is more about a reflection of, well, what could be done differently online? So maybe this question related to the grammar quiz could be more specific, more specifically related to online only. Which certain strategies do you use inside? Again, we want we need a reflection type of question. We need a reflection. Reflection question or a reflective question. How do you feel about taking, how do you feel taking grammar classes online? Yeah, so perhaps we can go back and, um, again, the more specific the question, I think the better. What advantages, disadvantages? Yeah, so I would stick to only online. Think about specific grammar um, aspects of the grammar class, right? Think of, try to be more specific in your questions. And maybe we have enough specific questions above. How do you how do you take how do you take advantage of the technology you learn in this? All right, so this is not a reflective question. How do you take advantage of the technology? It's, you're asking, what do you do? What do you do? And we want to we want to ask, how do you feel? How do you feel when you do this? Right, and probably needs to be more specific. I probably would remove that question. This one here. 
How do you feel about having online quizzes? Probably we can remove that question because we've got some more specific questions up above. How does the teacher show you the subject topics? Again, we need a reflective question. How do you feel? How do you feel using grammar books at different levels? We've had a couple of questions up here, so maybe merge that with a question up above. What do you think about using online books? Okay, so some of these questions down at the bottom, I think we can merge, combine with some of the questions up above. How are we doing with culture? What are the technologies? What are the technologies that have helped you the most in the class? Okay, it's kind of general, but you're asking. Um, it's yeah, if, if you could be more specific, that would... I mean, you're asking for the, the most, so that's fine. We'll leave that. Do you think the educational technologies you use in this class are adequate? Why or why not? I would add why or why not. How do you, after the second question, how do you feel in this class when doing the debate? How do you feel? Okay, but there's no mention of a technology. So remember that each question needs to include three things, the behavior, the technology, and it needs to be reflective in nature. What do you think is the most difficult part of reporting, researching the country, and then the debate? Again, we need a technology, right? So you, you need to mention some, some technology. Our focus this week is technology. So every question and every answer, basically everything that we're talking about when we answer these questions, needs to mention a behavior, the use of technology, and it be, needs to be our personal opinion. All right, so um, I hope that by me giving you guys this open feedback, right, I'm trying to take as many examples as possible to, to uh, give you a clear idea about what we need to do. We need to combine these questions because certainly we're gonna have some questions that are, have been repeated. All right, so we want to merge and maybe in some cases either remove some questions or just combine them with others. Uh, we're going to work together and, and go ahead and, sh and change and modify other sentences if, uh, we, if you want to combine your sentence with another so that we end up with some good specific questions that are reflective. They express a certain behavior. And they mention technology. Okay, that's what we need to try to do with each of the questions. For next class, guys, I want us to go ahead and try to complete uh, our questions. Complete all of these questions for each section. It looks like we could use a few more in writing, maybe. I don't know. It looks like we don't have too many in writing. Um, the other sections, we've got plenty of questions to, to work from. And so try to uh, complete your own sentence. Again, if you see your sentence somewhere else and you think that the other sentence uh, basically is asking the same as yours, you know, then we don't need to keep both. You, we can remove one of them. All right, and I would remove all bold text. We want to try to use Calibri, uh, what is it? Calibri body, font size 11. And I would try to, we can, clean, clear, we can change the bullet points later just so that we're consistent. Looks like reading is pretty close here. And let's check that. All right. Change that to Calibri body, 11. All right. So um, I would try to add a few more maybe for writing just so that we have more options, more questions to draw from. And it looks like we have plenty for grammar. It looks like we have plenty for culture and reading. Listening, speaking looks all right. Okay, so uh, I think we'll stop there, guys, for today. Any questions about the types of questions that we're asking for this activity, for this questionnaire? No, teacher. 
There's a chair. All right, so we'll go ahead and stop there for today, guys, and um, we'll pick up tomorrow. We'll pick up where we left off today, uh, continuing working uh, on our round table, which we'll complete this week as well for a performance task for Unit 4. All right, guys, thank you. Have a good day today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye, guys. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Thank you.